Hey, thanks for making it to Veterans Daily with Jay and Clay. We are glad you made it. We have a great topic. And you know what? I don't always say a great topic because I leave it up to Clay. And sometimes I just don't know what the hell he's going to come up with. So I'm really actually excited about this specific topic today because this is one of those things where finally you get something done with your claim, you get your award, and things kind of fizzle out and you're not quite sure exactly if there's any more steps, what else should you be looking at? What doors did it open? Did it not open? And all of that. So I ask this of you now. The asks that, that I have are simple. Hit the thumbs up, let the video run, listen to it in the background. It's just little pieces of information that will help you and it could help others that you know. Could be a family member, could be a friend, could be some random person that you meet because they're wearing the same unit hat that you happen to have been from, right? And you could have that conversation and be like, hey, did you know that you actually qualify for X? And here's the thing. I'm going to kick it over to Clay so he can give a little more in-depth of what we're going to jump into and i'm sure he's going to jump in neck deep so i take my time up front because i just don't know when i'm going to get the mic back so with that thank you guys so much for watching we really appreciate each and every one of you uh hit that thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and clay over to you all right so we are talking about every single benefit and when i say all of them i'm talking about every single federal benefit from a zero percent rating all the way to 100% rating. And the VA, I know I do this, Jason. I know you do it uh, sometimes as well. But I love slamming the VA when the VA does wrong. I think it's important. I also think it's important to highlight things they do right. And this is something they got right. There's an aggregate site right here called the VA Benefits Matrix. I'm going to have this below in the pinned comment. And that's what we're going to go through. It's going to show you 0%. If you have a 0% rating, Here's your benefits and not just that when it says a 10 point preference um, and that'll be the first benefit that we talk about. When you click that link, it goes to the 10 point preference. And so you have everything at you have all the information at your fingertips. So this is something the VA got right. Um, I will say it's kind of to format, to frame, to framework your mind for VA benefits. There's zero percent. That has its own 10 and 20 is another, uh, you know, we'll call it benchmark. 30 to 40 has a benchmark with dependents. 50%, in my opinion, is that first huge benchmark for veteran benefits, specifically on the healthcare side of the house. Then you have 60 to 90. Tons of veterans are within that 60 to 90 um, frame. And then finally, 100%. And so you can kind of group benefits by those benchmarks and that's what we're going to start so uh because i like to ramble as jason said a lot and i would actually argue the opposite <laughs> i think you <laughs> ramble more than i do um here's here's the web website and for instance i'll, I'll kind of walk you through it right now at the very top jason you have service connected that's what we're going to fall into today but there's also non-service connected benefits obviously there's not that much but then there's also circumstance matrix. And so you'll sign, you'll find if you are a prisoner of war, here's your benefits. If you are a surviving spouse, I mean, there's all kinds of benefits here. And this is your one-stop shop. But going back to the service connected matrix, with that non-compensable 0% rating, we'll talk about when that rating goes to a compensable 0%. It's technically still zero. The VA just gives you 10% to rate benefits, but starting right up at the top, um, 10 point veteran preference and federal hiring. Um, this applied to me and see, all I did was click that link and boom, now I'm at OPM's websites for federal employees. And all I have to do is click back. You can click any link you want here and it'll go to where the source of information is, not just two dudes on YouTube yapping, right? Um, although YouTube's not a bad source of information, food for thought. So that 10 point veteran preference, Jason, um, I'll go ahead and start this off because I am a federal employee. I used, I had VA uh, disability rating, submitted my federal resume, went through USA jobs and, and then the agency site for me, it was the Department of the Army. Each agency site is going to be a little different. They ask you, you know, um, what's your race, male, female, all that stuff. And then it gets down to disabilities. Um, answer that as you will, but then there's going to be a veteran preference specifically for those um, federal jobs. 
And I think that's a benefit that a lot of people really don't understand how it works. All you do is click something. You have to upload. Um, I want to say it's an SF50. There's so many standard forms. I have no idea what it is. You're going to need your DD214 at a minimum. Um, but that's how you take advantage of that veteran's preference. Now, I know Jason has yet another ch channel. I believe it's called Veteran's Preference. And so I feel like I have to I have to give this this one to you. So take it away. That's funny. Yeah. So uh, it's actually the SF15. So it, it kind of sounds like 50, but it is, it, you know, I was it's close. 15. I was close. It, it, it's very close. Very close. You were 35 off. <laughs> uh, so that's 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 a lot, actually, <laughs> now that I think about it. So 1515, SF15. Don't miss that form when you're applying. You need to put it all together. Here's the thing. With federal jobs, there is something called the Veterans Recruitment Act as well, uh, which is also kind of a, in conjunction with the, the veteran hiring preference, all that stuff. So you want to cite the different hiring authorities that you would be approved for with your federal job. Uh, obviously, if Clay can do it, uh, you guys can too. So... <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. Yes. I, I was trying to get you when you were drinking to just to see what That's would happen. Good. But uh, yeah. So um, the, the, with, with your federal jobs that comes into play now, they're really focused on federal stuff here. This does also uh, in some cases will loop in maybe your other government agencies could be a state agency, could be a county agency, could be a city agency. There's a bunch of different hiring authorities and preference points that are out there uh, for you to take a look at. Um, the big thing, I'm just going to throw this out there so we can move on because we'll, we'll be stuck. I mean, there's a, th a thousand bullet points here. Yeah. Um, uh, the, the, this is a big deal. And if you are looking for a job in the realm of a government sector, absolutely utilize your veterans preference and uh, make sure that you fill out everything appropriately. It doesn't mean short, short change yourself in other aspects, work your resume detailed toward the specific job. You know, the one thing that I'll say that I have seen a lot of in my life is people will do one resume and they'll change two words in that resume. Maybe it's, you know, I, I can't wait to work for insert the company's name or organization name. And that's all they change. Don't do that. Take the time to really dial your resume into the jobs uh, that you're actually looking for. Um, I, there's a whole that can be that's a for that's a class, a day long yeah, class is, is. that we could give. Uh, so with with that, let's move to the next one here, Clay. The no cost health insurance for prescription drugs for service-connected disabilities. So um, 